and um, Deborah has one of Kerry's books. I still got a box of her books, which I've been able to uh, up, <coughs> up for grabs. It's, uh, so it's a caption world creativity, which is one of the areas that, uh, that Kerry's spoken of. Uh, so each of the, each of the, the winners that, since 2006 have received a copy of that book, so we've still got some for a long time ago yet. <laughs> <laughs> So our 2015 scholar specialises in leadership and resilience. His proven commitment to community includes more than two decades with the Queensland Police and an award for valour for his actions in protecting a fellow officer despite being seriously wounded himself. Please help me congratulate Daryl Green. Speaking in the police for up to 2013, my stakeholder took a redundancy. I went to see my boss because people said, oh, Granny, when are you speaking next? And I didn't know, I said, I've got nobody driving. My boss said to me, Granny, you should take this outside. Didn't know what to do. A friend of mine, financial advisor, had a bar. Cocktail bar, he said, Granny, help me design some cocktails. So he came over to my place with Disney. <laughs> Had the bar opening and he introduced him to a chap named Mike Olfashley. He said, Green's got a very interesting story. He found it so interesting he started to work with me for free, he introduced me to national speakers. After my first event, I realised I found a home. So, yeah. Uh, so, thank you very much for recording the Ambassador and say uh, and keeping informed of what I'm doing, how I, develop, I promote NSA and seeing on the Gold Coast uh, next year, we don't have to wear a jacket. <laughs> <laughs>